Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. What's this? Why, it's breaking news right from the donkey cart. What could it possibly be? Oh no, not that. But before proceeding, I'd like to ask everyone to please like this video, please subscribe to this channel, and please press the bell to receive notifications. Thanks. This is some breaking news, folks. I have no idea what happened, but as this Hollywood Reporter uh, headline clearly shows, Marvel shocker, X-Men 97 creator Bo DeMaio fired weeks before premiere. That's pretty serious. What did this guy do? I don't know. In an unusual situation on the eve of a project's debut, the writer-producer who worked on Moon Knight and Blade will no longer be promoting the show or moving forward with future seasons. Something really, really bad must have happened, so I strongly believe that there is not going to be any information as to exactly what happened, why they let him go. Earlier this month, Bo DeMaio was in the midst of a particularly busy time at Marvel Studios. The writer-producer was preparing for the launch of X-Men 97, the Disney Plus series he created as a continuation of the beloved 90s Fox Kids show. He is the creator of the show, and he's just been fired. DeMaio, a Marvel regular who previously wrote on live-action series Moon Knight, as well as early drafts of the company's delayed but still upcoming vampire thriller Blade, had completed writing duties on Season 2 of X-Men 97, was lining up press and making plans to attend the show's Hollywood premiere on March 13th, which is tomorrow as of the time that I'm recording this video. He was even discussing loose ideas for a third season with members of his team. Well, why the heck are they suddenly firing him? What did this man do? This is just really bizarre. But early last week, Marvel and DeMaio suddenly parted ways. His company email was deactivated and cast and crew were informed he was no longer on the project. DeMaio's Instagram account, once a source for X-Men updates, was deleted. No reason for the firing was given. So he completely shut down his Instagram account as well. This is really serious. What the heck did he do? Why was he fired? Marvel had no comment. DeMaio's representatives did not return calls for comment and emails to the showrunner yielded no response. It was a surprising turn of events on the eve of the show's March 20th debut. Splitting with writers is a normal part of business for Marvel and any studio. However, it is unusual for a top creative on a Marvel project to miss a premiere or cancel press plans last minute, even if they've been shuffled to the side. Most Marvel premieres feature multiple screenwriters walking the red carpet, some of whom had been rewritten by other writers also walking the carpet. Well, it doesn't sound like he's going to be welcome even to that since they fired him. Marvel announced DeMaio's hiring in November 2021, so he really wasn't there all that long. That's just two and a half years, basically, from this point. The move was met with some level of excitement as the scribe brought his identity as a gay black man to the project. Well, that's why he was hired, because he's black and because he's gay. Maybe that's the only reason why he was hired and made it a point in talking to the press about how growing up as the adopted son to white parents with a Korean sister in the South made the X-Men characters and their struggles for acceptance by society feel personal to him. Well, yes, I could understand that. His silence on social media has been acute as he was a prolific poster, sharing X-Men tidbits as well as shirtless pictures of himself at the gym. For a time, he also ran a non-explicit OnlyFans account, all of which inspired the LGBTQ publication out to declare him to be the sexy gay Marvel writer and showrunner to know. Sharing shirtless pictures of himself on Instagram probably wasn't really a problem for Disney. Disney or Marvel Studios. But having an OnlyFans account, that tends to be a little more questionable in my opinion. Even if it's non-explicit, it's still a predominantly adult website now, so I wonder if that could be one of the reasons that led to him being fired. 
because X-Men 97 is still a show intended for children. And for a Disney showrunner making children's content to be simultaneously making potentially questionable content for OnlyFans tends to go against the wholesome family image that Disney always wants to portray. But at times, social media had proven a challenge while making the series. In May 2023, DeMaio announced he would be deleting his Twitter account after he was attacked by users accusing X-Men 97 of whitewashing the character Sunspot with the casting of Brazilian actor Gui Agostini in the role. I want to share something with you from a man who lived around 700 years ago. His name was John Lydgate. And while you may never have heard of him, you have probably heard a very famous saying that is attributed to him. And that saying is this, you can please some of the people all of the time, you can please all of the people some of the time, but you can't please all of the people all of the time. This is an inherent flaw within the woke identity politics ideology. By separating people into various categories based on their personal immutable characteristics, such as race, gender, and sexual orientation, the ideology has put itself into the very precarious position of trying to please everyone by pandering to a few who fit into one of its categories while simultaneously upsetting its own adherents that fall into some of its other categories. In other words, it's a perpetual catch-22 that will always fail in the end. X-Men 97 continues the story of X-Men the Animated Series, which ran from 1992 to 1997, and is credited with introducing a generation of children to the mutant characters and priming the pump for the X-Men movies of the early 2000s. A number of the voice actors from the original show are returning, with the nostalgia factor helping propel the first trailer to become the most-watched promo for a Disney Plus animated show. Let's think about this for a moment. Anyone who watched the original X-Men animated series in the mid-1990s were very likely children or in their early 20s at the time which means that they're going to be in their 30s, 40s, or possibly even their 50s today because that was 25 years ago. And a modern cartoon that has been ostensibly produced for today's youth isn't necessarily going to simultaneously appeal to people who are either approaching or are already middle-aged. That's a huge age gap that doesn't make sense if the intended audience is today's youth. This is yet another way Disney is trying to pander this time to two vastly different age groups, which to me sounds more like a failure waiting to happen. DeMaio was among the kids who grew up watching the show. Said the showrunner in June 2022, quote, Anyone who feels different, we all have a Magneto inside of us, and we all have a Charles Xavier. We all have a part of us that wants to burn it all down, and there's part of us who wants to find the compromise and build it up. And those comics really helped me understand my identity. Unquote. Well, there you go. He liked X-Men because it helped him find his identity. And no doubt this show is going to be about identity politics to the hilt. And yet he's, he's being fired. The article does not say why he was fired. Disney and Marvel Studios don't want to release why they fired him. But it's highly unusual that right on the verge of this show premiering, he's suddenly out the door. Why? Well, maybe we'll find out one of these days. I don't know. Thanks for watching today, and a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button, and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Outloud Geek.